How are you doing tonight? We're gonna play Most Wanted Rework mod. All right, let's let's take a fresh look at the game, man. Whoa, <laughs> that was that was some intense sun in the cutscene. It looks way way sharper than we're used to. Uh, this mod is available. They just released version three, the one that I'm playing today. So if you wanna check it out, now's your now's your chance. The combination of the new camera angle and generally the new look in the motion blur, it, it, it feels quite a bit different. The minimap is a bit off uh, the mark. I assume someone redrew the maps and they are not perfectly accurate. Okay, now we get a bonus race with Rogue. Oh yeah, I definitely know where, that, where that's going. <laughs> I think we got beat by Rogue, man. <laughs> Alright, might need to come up with a different strategy for this one. Uh, the, the game removed the yellow filter completely, like the only yellow you see right now is the leaves. I think they found a really good balance of like keeping the integrity of the look of the original game without it being too yellow. It really comes down to picking the right textures to make this to make this work. So to have dude, the golf does seem quite a bit weaker. I'm not sure it's just the engine downgrade to be fair. The progression of the game has changed. Traffic is heavier, obviously graphics have been overhauled, <laughs> the camera... I'm not used to the motion blur whatsoever. I kinda like it though, because it really makes it feel different. I mean, if it was a remaster, I would turn it off, because I, I'm usually not a fan of it. But I think for the sake of this mod, and getting a different feel, this is perfect. Ow. Well, it plays similarly to the original, the traffic is way heavier and so are the cops, so basically all the cars that you could crash into are way heavier. There's more traffic, obviously the graphical improvements. I have to do more to unlock the next chapter, like more events, more bounty. Another reason why I don't really want to change car, because you will, you will have to rebuild the heat level every time, which does add up to a few hours if you have to do it all the time. Probably the number one flaw, the heat should not have been stored on your car, it should have been stored on your character. Ah, so heavy, dude. I cannot play normally against the cops. There's also a different spot you can try. Ah, okay, this spot works better. <laughs> Not even this mod can stop me from going out of bounds. Thing is, you can always drive back into bounds, but driving outside, there's usually an invisible wall. <laughs> <laughs> She's flying again. <laughs> Quick turnaround. <laughs> that works. Okay, so we now have the condition 3 cops with rhinos following us. Usually you have the rhinos only in double pack coming from the front. Yeah, I didn't understand the use of speed breaker whatsoever. When I played the game for the first time, it was like, the car becomes slow. Okay, so what now? And usually when you touch the analog stick, the car became completely uncontrollable too. How did he not flip his car? Like, look at this guy. How long have we been carrying him? Okay, there's something up with the cops that they don't die as easily when they flip. That is gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna block them off so hard. <laughs> Look at the minimap, every single one gets stuck. You know, you know what surprises me? That so many people on the outside have a better understanding what would be good for EA's racing game team. Like, for pretty much everyone that played the Need for Speed games of Black Box, it's like a no-brainer that they should have kept that team. Who in EA made the call that Black Box is not a good studio and will not make the money in the future. I'm a big opponent of not being able to kill the cops by flipping them. That was half of the fun, man. Like, the way the cops have been revamped seems unnecessary to me. I feel like the cops were fine. The cops didn't need to be heavier and taking away that they can break from flipping just seems like a weird decision to me. Is that a new cutscene? Do you have mental problems? Do you need permissions? We can help you. Dick travels. The taste of travel. 
<laughs> the fuck is that at, man? Day two. Today, I also activated the reshade mod. What is that full screen yellow effect, man? I think that's one of the settings I could definitely do without. Oh, is it a sunset filter? This is already better. There's the, there's the other yellow. It looks so much worse, man. You just ruined the colors. Stop ruining the colors. Yeah, I think these settings are better. It reminds me a bit of the run now. Okay, I think I'm, I'm happy with this. Just realized that my car is actually mirrored on the ground. <laughs> Dude, what are, what are these Russian cutscenes, man? Like, what happened to the what happened to the aspect ratio? I'm not too surprised that Most Wanted and similar games are still being modded because they're not really bringing out any good new games that you want to play for more than a week, so... Unsurprisingly, people go back to the games that they love. Ah, it's so bright, I can't see the interface. This mod is definitely slower because traffic hits you harder, slows you down more, and there's more traffic in the first place, so you're definitely gonna crash more. That looks so carbon down here. That looks like a scene from carbon right now. <laughs> so blue. Like most ones had the yellow filter, carbon had the blue filter. And I will say I like blue filter more. I wonder what most wanted would look like with a uh, blue filter everywhere. I mean, you could do it with reshade, I just don't know how to set it up. I mean, generally, what I really like about this game is that you can drive so smoothly. There's just so many games out there where the handling just isn't good enough for you to drive so cleanly. The cars just being super grippy allows you to be really fast around corners and it just makes it fun. It's my, my biggest issue with Sims, like unless you're driving a, a hyper car or like a Le Mans hybrid car, the grip just sucks. <laughs> it really does. And you just have to do so many things so slowly and I just don't enjoy it. Like fast cornering is something that I really enjoy. Come on, clutch it up! Oh! <laughs> Speed breaker is so overpowered, man. I'm not sure EA is eager to kill off Need for Speed, even, even if the next Need for Speed is not good. I mean, think about the Need for Speed history. There have been many Need for Speeds that were not very good, didn't sell that well, and they still didn't kill the franchise. So I don't think that is in the cards. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that image was taken just before the golf broke into a million pieces as it hit the wall. Oh, that's a different cutscene. It's just a real long cutscene. It's go time. I never want to see your face again. Oh, well, well, what do we got here? You never know what might happen, do you? Oh, where was that cutscene part I'll from? Go. I'll hook up with you later. Nice one. Okay, I think we have to do everything, huh? 17 races, 7 milestones. 17 events! And not a single drag race. You guys are stupid. Yeah, I agree. The reflections could be worked on. Like, the car being that visible. Like, your own car. Doesn't really look that good. Yeah, pretty clean looking version of Most Wanted. One more time, here are my settings that I used. I'm not a fan of this extra yellow on top of it especially the sunset filter triggered me pretty hard those are the settings that are used if you want to replicate day three but i think i'm gonna kick it off with the challenge series today so today i turned off the motion blur should clear up the image quite a bit did i enjoy the mod absolutely now we are far from done though there's a lot to do but yeah these challenges they, they feel such like such a waste of time like it, would, like, it would be difficult to actually survive 7 minutes, even if you wouldn't be sitting on the bus station. What would I change? I mean, some of the changes you made I don't really agree with. For example, the cops not dying when you flip them, and the, and the, uh, the traffic and the cops being heavier. I don't like, I don't like those two changes. I do like there's more traffic on, the, on, on all the tracks and the races and everything. <laughs> That's a souped up pizza car, man. 250. Fastest pizza in Rockport. Ah, oh, come on, try. Ah, hitboxes. 250,000 bounty. Yay. Oh my god, this car again. That's <laughs> too easy to flip. 
What the hell is up with this car, man? <laughs> like, it, it swings back all the time. It's a restored M3 CSL. Two million. I don't have time for this. <laughs> the problem, that's the problem with just increasing the numbers. Like, it's completely out of balance. You do like four minutes on the race, but you would do like 15 minutes on the cop chase. That's the problem with just increasing numbers, man. It just becomes longer. Not, not more fun. Like, I don't care. I don't want to do 25 roadblocks. It just takes 20 minutes. It's not fun. What I would like to see is just more cops. Instead of having like seven cops on me right now, I would love to have 14, 20, 30 cops on me right now. I would, I would much rather have like a shit ton more cops on the screen. It would look crazy too, having like so many cops on screen at once. I got lucky. I wanted to test that the spike's actually gone when a cop goes over it, but it took a little bit too long to despawn. I'm gonna need those. <laughs> okay, before I do the CBT challenges in the challenge series, let's finish up the career mode. Because we haven't done Razor yet. There's a bunch of Razor stuff to do. <laughs> Whoa. What is this? Prison 2? Oh no. Oh no! Alright, I'm using extra options. I'm not doing this a third time. <laughs> Let's do Razor. Let's go! Good to see you've been a while. Oh man, you can really notice like all the filters active on the video. So let's see if the out of bounds works as it should. Don't forget to check out instant game next week. Since the camera is different, this might work different too. Has something to do with how the camera despawns in the rest of the game. Oh, never mind. Alright, that's how you go out of bounds and how you can get to the final escape before Mia opens it up. I'm not too surprised that the rearview mirror is not really working. <laughs> My great granddad discovered this trick and passed it down through generations of crews. Back then we were still writing our speedruns on old caves with the blood of the people that we beat. Alright, let's get out of here. One more time. Bing. And there it is, most wanted rework. Oh man, there's so many more. Shout out to all of you. Fantastic, amazing mod. Time to take a break and see you guys again tomorrow. I do like instant gaming, XD. Link in the description below. Buy games over there, support the channel as always. Helps me out a lot actually. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Sleep tight to come back tomorrow and good night. Bye.